Hello there, and welcome to the show. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And we'd both like to welcome you guys back to our building character unit for this month. Now, we are reading an article titled, Learn to Appreciate More. And I think it is safe to say that the main character in yesterday's story, Max, he was having a pretty bad time in his uh, life. Yeah, he was. Max was out of work. He had no money, no home, and he lived on the streets. And he also had health problems. Right, the health problems. So, yeah, and it was when he got sick with those serious health problems that his life really started to have serious trouble. Before, when he was healthy, everything was great for Max. Fantastic, even. Yeah, definitely. He had what most people would call a very happy and successful life. A great job, lots of money, beautiful things, luxury car, a big house. What could be better than that, right? Well, yeah, his life may have looked perfect from the outside, but Max was actually a pretty unhappy guy. Sure, those nice things would make him feel good for a short while, but eventually that feeling would go away and he would feel unhappy again. So he just bought more stuff, more homes, more luxury goods, all that kind of thing. It never ended and it also never made him truly happy. Ah, so let's hope that Max can turn things around, get back on his feet, and most importantly, find some real happiness in his life. Not just the happiness he used to buy with his credit card. Before we begin reading today's article though, we need to learn more about today's vocabulary, so let's do that right now. 第二天的文章继续看Max的遭遇,他跟很多人一样很难appreciate what they have,珍惜并且感恩自己所有的一切。我们来看几个单字,第一个way,方法是个名词,there are many ways to solve this problem,there are many ways to solve this problem,有非常多的方法可以解决这个问题。第二个单字change,change, change change your thoughts and your life will change too change your thoughts and your life will change too 改变你的想法你的人生也会跟着改变哦第三个单字 less less 在这边是个代名词英文有一句名言 less is more less is more 就是少即是多我们不需要太多 最后一个单字 see See是个动词,在这边不是看,而是理解的意思. Alicia couldn't see what she had done wrong, and it made her husband very upset. Alicia couldn't see what she had done wrong, and it made her husband very upset. Alicia无法理解她做错了什么事,这令她的先生非常不开心。Many of us are like Max. We have lots of nice things, but we don't appreciate them. One big way to change that is to want less. If you already have 10 pairs of shoes, do you really need another pair? Life becomes simpler when you have fewer things. Another way is to stop comparing yourself to people with more things. Explanation 1 Okay, so yesterday we saw Max only learned how to appreciate all of the good things he had after he lost all of those good things. But by then, of course, it was too late. And today's article begins by pointing out that people like Max aren't that unusual. We read, many of us are like Max. And it goes on to say, we have lots of nice things, but we don't appreciate them. Well, not until we might lose them at least. Yes, that's very true. We just think that our life is the way it is, and we don't think about how lucky we are. 
So, what can we do to try to find true happiness? Well, the next sentence gives us some good advice. It reads, "One big way to change is to want less." Yes, it's true. Too much of the modern world is just about getting more. Through advertising, through social media, and things like that, it often seems that the happiest people in the world are the richest, the most beautiful, the ones with the nicest stuff. But remember, people on social media are only showing you one tiny side of their life—the side they want you to see. But is that the real truth? Hmm. And then there are the ads that are always trying to get us to spend our money. Companies make advertising like that to get you to buy things, and you know what? They are very good at it. Ah, but here's a good question that we should all think carefully about. We read: If you already have ten pairs of shoes, do you really need another pair? Right. They might look nice in the ad, but they're supposed to look nice in the ad. But will they make you happy? Well, maybe for a short time, but not forever. That's not real happiness. Let's learn more about this after we pause here for today's first grammar point. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 a pair of 加名词，意思是一对、一双，后方要接成双的物品。例如 ，a pair of shoes， 一双鞋。A pair of socks, 一双袜子 A pair of gloves, 一双手套另外要注意的是 a pair of glasses, 一副眼镜因为一副眼镜有两片镜片 A pair of pants, 一条裤子因为一条裤子有两个裤管 A pair of scissors, 一把剪刀因为一把剪刀有两个刀片例如 Nikki is holding a pair of scissors. Nikki 拿着一把剪刀 Okay, so the urge to shop may be there, but as the article just asked, if you already have enough of something, will more make you any happier? Sure, the companies want to sell you more, but will it be good for you if you already have enough? Right, and here's another thing to think about in the next sentence of the article. We read, "Life becomes simpler when you have fewer things." That's very true. The more things you buy, the more space you need to store them in. Ah, <sighs> this idea of simplifying our lives by having less stuff is becoming more and more popular. Yeah, and as we mentioned, social media. Can also make us feel like we need more stuff to be happy. Right. And as we reach our break, the article has some good advice about this. We read: Another way is to stop comparing yourself to people with more things. Right. This is a trap. If you are always trying to be as good as the people around you. In your own life or on social media, you are only going to make yourself unhappy. Be happy with who you are, not who you think you should be. Okay, we have our second grammar point here to learn about, and then we'll take a break. 第二则文法是 compare A to B， 意思是拿 A 跟 B 比较。Compare 在这里是及物动词，比较的意思。后面先接第一个比较对象当受词，再用介系词 to 比较，引出第二个比较对象。例如 ，Grayson compared his grades to those of his classmates. Grayson 拿自己的成绩和其他的同学比较。So it's break time now. We'll see you back here in just a moment. Think about all the people with less than you. You'll see that you already have a lot. So be thankful for those things. You'll be happier for it. Explanation two. 
And we're back. So when trying to be happy in our lives and thankful for what we have, one really good idea is to not compare yourself to other people, especially strangers on social media. And happiness through shopping and getting more and better stuff? Mm, that's also a dead end. Sure, the companies that try to sell us their products want us to believe that, but it's just an empty promise. You won't find true happiness there. No, but you will find bigger and bigger credit card bills there. So how can we feel a bit better about ourselves? Well, there are lots of ways, of course. And next in our article, we get one good little piece of advice. It says, think about all the people with less than you. Right, if you have clothes, a safe home, a bed, food on the table, and people around you who love you? Well, you are doing better than lots and lots of people out there in the world. That's true. And if you do this, the article tells us, you'll see that you already have a lot. So be thankful for those things. There are lots of people living in much worse situations than you. All you have to do is realize that. And be thankful for it. Okay, we're very thankful right now. You know why? Because Daphne is going to come back to spend just a bit more time to explain our final grammar point of the day. Then stick around because our article is almost done. The third A is thankful for B. Thankful. 是形容词感谢的后方以介系词 for 因为引出感谢的对象或原因例如 Donald is thankful for his wife 唐娜对太太充满感激又如 I am thankful for your support 我很感谢你的支持 Okay, so the final sentence of the article and the unit says this about being thankful for what you have. It says, you'll be happier for it. That's right, happier in your life and probably a better friend, family member, and person in general. No credit cards required, no thousands of followers on social media, just you, your friends and loved ones, and a real understanding that even if your life isn't perfect, it's still pretty good. Okay, folks, that's all the time we have for you today. We wish you and yours great success, but also even greater happiness. You deserve it. So take care, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye. Learn to appreciate more. Many of us are like Max. We have lots of nice things, but we don't appreciate them. One big way to change that is to want less. If you already have 10 pairs of shoes, do you really need another pair? Life becomes simpler when you have fewer things. Another way is to stop comparing yourself to people with more things. Think about all the people with less than you. You'll see that you already have a lot. So be thankful for those things. You'll be happier for it. Let, let me do the intro this time. Let me do it. The fat chance. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Shane. Okay, next time. No way, Jose. Uh. Uh -huh. Anyway, we're going to be able to do the same thing. All right. 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 Ah, okay. Fat, actually,就是很肥嘛,可是其实一点,这个机会一点都不肥啊。其实很少。其实是很少,所以其实有点反讽的意思。对,对,对。有点讽刺。Yeah,所以人家跟你说,fat chance其实不是真的,你机会很多,而是你根本没有机会。对。嗯哼。Sorry! Sorry! <笑> okay, 第二个呢,no way! No way, Jose! No way, Jose! 
No, seriously, like whistle. Oh, it's a zero, rhyming way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. So Jose, it's not a name. Yeah, it's a name. So I can only say Jose. Not. It's a very cute way. We don't know why Jose uses this name. It's just like that. Oh, because no way and Jose sound the same. Yeah. 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 Y